my servants Let not your vain hopes and idle fancy sap the foundations of your belief in the all-glorious God Inasmuch as such imaginings have been wholly unprofitable unto man And fail to direct their steps unto the straight path Think ye, oh my servants, that my hand on my all encompassing My overshadowing and transcendent sovereignty is chained up Let the flow of mine ancient, my ceaseless and all-pervasive mercy is tracked under the clouds My sublime and unsurpassed favor has ceased to rain gifts upon men Can you imagine that the wondrous works that proclaim my divine and resistless this power are withdrawn on their abodance He of my will and purpose Hath been deterred from directing the destinies of mankind But be not so wherefore then have ye striven to prevent the deathless Be of my sacred and great countenance for being unveiled to men's eyes Why have ye struggled to hinder the manifestation of the almighty and all glorious being Shedding the radiance of his revelation upon the earth Were you to be fair in your judgment You would readily recognize that the realities of all created things are new created With the joy of this new and wondrous revelation How all the atoms of the earth have been illuminated through the brightness of its glory Vain and wretched is that which ye have imagined and still imagined Retrace your steps, O my servants, and incline your hearts to him Who is the source of your creation Deliver yourself from evil and corrupt affection To hasten to embrace the light of the undying fire That glowed on the Sinai of this mysterious and transcendent revelation Corrupt not the holy, the all-embracing The primal word of God And seek not to profane its sanctity Or to devise its exalted character O oh, heedless ones For the wonders of my mercy have encompassed all created things Both visible and invisible And though the revelation of my grace and bounty have permeated every atom of the universe yet the rod with which I can't chastise the wicked is grievous and the fierceness of mine anger against them terrible with ears that are sanctified from vain glory and worldly desires hearken unto the counsels which I in my merciful kindness have revealed unto you and with your inner and outer eyes contemplate the evidences of my marvelous revelation for my servants deprive not yourself of the unfading and respect the light that shines within the lamp of divine glory Let the flame of the love of God burn brightly within your radiant hearts Feed it with the oil of my guidance And protect it within the shelter of your constancy Guarded within the globe of trust and detachment from all else but God So that the evil whisperings of the ungodly may not extinguish its light O oh, my servants, my holy, my divinely ordained revelation May be likened unto an ocean in whose depths are concealed Innumerable pearls of great price of surpassing luster It is the duty of every seeker to bestir himself and strive to attain the shores of this ocean So that he may in proportion to the eagerness of his search and the efforts he hath exerted Partake of such benefits as have been preordained in God's irrevocable and hidden tablets If no one be willing to direct his steps toward its shores if everyone should fail to arise and find him Can such a failure be said To have robbed this ocean of its power Or to have lessened to any degree its treasures How vain, how contemptible are the imaginations Which your hearts have devised and are still devising Oh my servants, the one true God Is my witness that most great This fathomless and surging ocean is near Astonishingly near unto you Behold, it is closer to you than your life, babe Swift as the twinkling of an eye He can, if he but wish it Reach and partake of this imperishable favor This God-given grace, this incorruptible gift This most potent and unspeakably glorious bounty For my servants, could you apprehend With what wonders of my magnificence and bounty I feel to entrust your souls You would of a truth rid yourselves of attachment To all created things and would gain a true knowledge Of your own selves A knowledge which is the same as the comprehension Of mine own being You would find yourselves Independent of all else but me And would perceive with your inner and outer eye And it manifests as the revelation of my appalling name The seas of my loving kindness and bounty moving within you Suffer not your idle fancies, your evil passions Your insincerity and blindness of heart Within the luster or stain the sanctity of so lofty a station Here even as the bird which soareth With the full force of its mighty wings with complete and joyous confidence to the immensity of the heavens until it fell to satisfy.
satisfy its hunger, it turneth on and lead in the watering clay of the earth below it. And having been entrapped in the mesh of its desire, findeth itself impotent to resume its flight to the realms whence it came. Powerless to shake off the bird wing on its sullied wings, that bird hitherto the made of the heavens is now forced to seek a dwelling place upon the dust. Wherefore, O my servants, defile not your wings with the clay of waywardness and vain desires, and suffer them not to be stained with the dust of envy and hate, that you may not be hindered from soaring in the heavens of my divine knowledge. O my servants, through the might of God and his power, and out of the treasury of his knowledge and wisdom, I have brought forth and revealed unto you the pearls that lay concealed in the depths of his everlasting ocean. I have summoned the maids of heaven to emerge from behind the veil of concealment And have clothed them with these words of mine, words of consummate power and wisdom I have moreover with the hand of divine power unsealed the choice light of my revelation And I have walked in the holy, it's hidden and must plate with fragrance upon all created things Who else but yourselves to be blamed if you choose to remain unendowed With so great an outpouring of God's transcendent and all-encompassing grace With so great revelation Of me resplendent
falling deep, captive in the hand, praying fervently to thee, trusting. Abdul Baha, Abdul Baha. 